Stocks discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 money's coming to me. It's your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. With your host, Phil Brandy. One story is of strong underlying growth, and stocks, the stock market seems to be buying into the stronger growth story. Really? Stronger growth? Varney says... We've got a vibrant economy, and I think it might get a little better. Yes, and? The ultimate message about the economy is that the consumer is doing well. Savings rates are good. People are seeing an increase in wages, and so when consumers feel confident that they spend... Are you kidding me? Consumers are feeling good. They have a historic debt. Household debt, $13 trillion. Credit card debt, auto loans. Auto loans are behind 90 days. We never had so many people behind auto loans in 90 days as we do now. This is unbelievable. And never mind just the student loans, the young kids. We have retirees. They're hurting. They're hurting. There's about... $80 Eighty million dollars in in, uh, in in back loans with these student loans. People sixty years and old, sixty years and older, are suffering with student loans. And I'll look up the number in a minute, but I mean tremendous number. And these people are having problems retiring as it is, but they still are facing these student loans at that age. This is great. Yeah, this stuff they keep telling us how everything is great. Well, that's why you come to the Phil's gang. That's why I hope you come to my show every day. Because here we tell you the truth. We tell you what is going on. This this is where you find the actual truth. Every day. Look, the market's down 300 points again today. Everybody said after the market dropped 30% or 20%, the bottom was in. The bottom was in. But here's what they didn't want to tell you. The bottom wasn't in. Not by a long shot was the bottom in. They interfered. The President's Council on Markets, a.k.a. Plunger Team, with the Federal Reserve, as the market was going down 20%, it was heading down to almost 40 or 50%, and they interfered and stopped it. Because the country couldn't handle a 2.5% interest rate? What are you nuts? Two and a half percent. They couldn't handle it. They rejected it. The banks rejected it. And the banks, they lead the market. They're the ones that lead the market. They couldn't do it. They couldn't lead it. They're failing. They started to roll over because the folks could not afford the extra payments on their car, the extra payments on their their credit cards. They just couldn't afford it. It wasn't in their budget. Remember, Folks are making the same amount of money adjusted for inflation as they did in 1970. Sure, the paycheck looks bigger, but take inflation, they're making the same amount of money. They're struggling. It used to be 75% of the people were were working paycheck to paycheck. Now it's 80%. So when you hear all this, believe me, I would love to tell you things are great. Give me an example. Today, the market's down 300 points. You know why they tell you the market's down 300 points? You know what they use for an excuse instead of telling you the truth? China, China. Listen to this. Larry Kudlow comes out and talks. This was this was a story a couple of days ago about China. I think it'll be great for China and world growth, and that's what these negotiations are all about. China trade issues have been all buttoned down yet, but look, Chris, the markets did very well, both in China and the U.S. My point to China: just say yes. And here he is today. The president has said, looking down the road that that is a likely meeting. No date has been set, no time, no place, no nothing at the moment. We've got a you know, pretty sizable distance to go here, uh, to quote a colleague of mine, we have miles to go before we sleep. Um, that was a joke. This is no joke. He tells you one thing, 
And then the next day it tells you something else as to China. They've been using this China deal to try to rally markets. They've been doing that for so long now. But here's what's going on. Here's the truth. Here's what's really going on. The reason the market's down 300 points and the reason the market will not sustain this recent rally of 14%. Remember, it went down 20% since October, dropped from October down to December 24th, 20%. Then on December 26th, they interfered, stopped it from going down. They printed money. They bought bank stocks to try to push them up. They did more stock buybacks, push it up to stop it. And then it went up about 14%, about three-quarters of the way of where it was before it dropped. And it's a little silly. I mean, you'd have to be pretty dumb to think to, 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 to not understand what's going on here. If the banks were the cause for the market to drop because they rejected the new interest rates of 2.5%, then how could the same stock market, the same banks, go up 14% again? Come down 20, go up 14 when the interest rates haven't changed because it was engineers it's called financial engineering, it's called front loading. That's what they did. But once you get to a certain point, they can't front load anymore. And I told everybody this. I said, no, watch. I said, they're not going to get above their, their moving averages. This is all phony because what I could see as a chartist and why people joined my gang to follow me as a chartist, never mind all this nonsense, all this fundamentals, nobody cares about fundamentals, we could see that as the stock market was going up, you could see the banks were going down. That's a very dangerous divergence. That means the rally is not sustainable. The reason we're down 300 points today is very simple. It has nothing to do with the trade talks. They're masking the truth. And here's the truth. The biggest fear they have right now is the yield curve. The yield curve identifies if you're in a recession or going into a recession and you're going to have a market crash. Yield curves are the best indicator looking forward as to what is the health of the economy. What does that mean, yield curve? Big fancy word. All it means is if you take a 10-year treasury yield, and let's say it's at 2%, you take a two-year treasury yield, it's at 1%. When that two-year treasury yield starts heading up towards the same 2%, and then when it reaches the same 2% and then gets above it, that's telling you the closer it gets to the 2%, the two-year treasury, the closer it gets to the... 10-year treasury yield, that's telling you bad things are coming. Bad things are coming. And most of the time, you're already in the recession and you don't even know it. And that's the big panic they have. The other panic they have, and, and think about it now, they stopped the market from going down. They interfered with it from going down. And they couldn't handle 2.5% interest rates. Isn't that silly? Can't digest 2.5% interest? What are you, nuts? The other thing they're scared to death of, not just the yield curve, but durable goods. Durable goods are a very important indicator. Durable goods are big ticket items, construction equipment, big TVs, washing machines, uh, you know, all kinds of appliances. It, you have to order those way out in the future for those to be manufactured. If you're going to order appliances, you have to order them out a year so that it, and then what you do is you check the orders. Well, guess what? The orders have fallen off a cliff. That means next year we're not going to have a 3% GDP growth. We're lucky to have a 2% GDP growth. Oh, but they don't want to tell you that. They don't want to tell you that. Also, another thing, oil's going up. It's been up, going up 20% since, the, since Christmas. That means gasoline's up 10%. That means people have less money and housing starts. I'll talk to you about housing starts when we get back, how bad those are. Join my gang, Phil's gang. This is where you get the truth. This is where you make money. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th. 
at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Actually, yes, I am. Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Thousands of investors trust philsgang.com to deliver the tools and resources they need to invest with confidence. With the Philsgang Max Best 1000 stock charts, you have the power to create highest quality, color-coded, easy-to-read charts in just a few simple clicks. Designed specifically for technical analysis and investing, the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock chart seamlessly integrates and functions on mobile, tablet, desktop, and web devices. Isn't it time you leave behind the old stock research routine, spending hours reading websites out of date newsletters and magazines? Instead, subscribe to the Phil's Gang Max Vest 1000 stock charts and plan your entire investment strategy. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. 877-600-4264. 877-600-4264. And we'll see you on the charts. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Philsgang.com has taught thousands of people from all walks of life how to invest and make profits in the stock market. Philsgang.com can help you generate extra income, maximize your retirement financial savings, and teach you how to avoid costly investing mistakes. With the Philsgang membership, you get all the comprehensive stock research and data, analysis tools, Phil's recommendations, and the professional customer support you need to make smarter, more profitable investing decisions. Don't wait. Call today, 877 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, or go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, 877-600-4264. Did you know Phil Grandy hosts a daily live stock market investing webinar class? Never miss a beat with the market and your investments. Learn, invest, and profit with philsgang.com. Call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG, and you'll be in position, and you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Mm-hmm. 
Welcome back. Are you a fan of the Phil's Gang radio show? Then you should check out philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Before the break, we were talking about retirees, those 60-plus, having a big problem. We already have a tremendous crisis when it comes to retirement. Most people can't retire. Many people are going back to work. But yet, what, what do they always tell us about the economy? We're always told how great the economy is doing, right? There's nothing like it. It's a fantastic economy. It's going to get better. We've got a vibrant economy. So if we have a vibrant economy, but we can't pay 2.5% interest? Remember when interest used to be 5 and 6%, but we can't pay 25 so it's vibrant. How can it be vibrant? How can it be vibrant when we have a situation where we have retired baby boomers, 60 years old plus, they owe $86 billion in student loans. They owe an average of $33,800 going into retirement. That's up 44% since 2010. What are you, nuts? That's the largest increase of any age group over that time span for heaven's sakes and they can tell you what the economy is wonderful now let me also tell you another reason why they were worried and why we're down 300 points per day it's not because of the trade agreement that's all a lie housing you ever notice when they give you housing starts they bundle them all together it's, oh look at this housing starts are terrific wow the economy's blasting off wow all cylinders taking off but when you pull out the single family house you go we're the single family nobody's building a single family house all the housing starts are multi-family apartments people can't afford a house not even with the interest rates where they are today remember the 10-year treasury yield is what you pay for your mortgage what dictates how much you're gonna pay on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage which is about two and a half percent we can't pay it so housing starts are down because young people they're living with the millennials they're living with their parents because they can't get a job why can't they get a job? Because people can't retire. Because 401ks have failed them. The 401k has failed them. That's the worst experiment ever. It's terrible. And that's one reason why a retire, guy's ready to retire. He can't. He finds his 401k, the, 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 the fees that were hidden, 22 hidden fees were taken half of his money. He didn't know it. Matter of fact, most of you that are in a 401k don't even know that you're paying fees. They did a study. 80% of the people said, oh, I didn't know I was paying fees. So people can't retire. That means the young folks who have this big student debt get out of college. They're living with mom and dad. They can't get a job. But what are we being told every day? Everything's very good. The economy's great. Everything's running, right? I mean, that's all we hear about every day. We are seeing very good business investment. Cap no, we're not. We're not seeing good business investment. We're being told that, but we're not. That's not true at all. Business investment did collapse. That's right. Well, we're being told it was, one day he's telling us business investment was fantastic and it was collapsing. Just like one day he tells us how everything's going well with the, with, with the uh, Chinese and, oh, well, now we're not sure. That's why... If you're going to invest, stop listening to the noise. If you're going to invest, you've got to join my gang because you're going to be t told when to buy a stock, when to sell a stock, when to hold a stock, all based on money flow from a chart that I created that follows the money. What money? The big institutional money. Stocks don't go up or down because you're buying a little bit of stock. Stocks go up and down because when the institutions buy. What do I mean by institutions? The largest banks, the largest hedge funds, the largest insurance companies. And they all get together and buy in collusion. They all say, okay, let's all buy this one. Let's all buy that one. It wasn't that way before. In fact, I was telling my class this morning, it used to be when we had a weak dollar, when we had a weak dollar, we'd say, okay, look, weak dollar, let's start buying industrials today. We'll buy Caterpillar because the dollar's weak. Let's buy Caterpillar. And what we'll do is we'll, 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 and we'll, sell, uh, uh, we'll sell short uh, Clorox. We'll short because they, Clorox needs a strong dollar. 
But it doesn't matter anymore what stocks you're in. It used to be, before we used to identify, if a dollar was weak, we'd buy these stocks. If a dollar was strong, we'd buy these stocks. No, no, no more. Because now, with stock buybacks, everything goes up. Stock buybacks has been a, it was a crime, remember, until Ronald Reagan changed it. It was a crime. They're manipulating the market. It goes up and up and up and up until it can't go up anymore. And remember, on January 16th, I don't know of anybody else that predicted it. I did. On January 16th, I said the market was going to crash in 2018, and and I said it will capitulate, meaning the worst month would be in December. I said I picked out December almost 12 months out. I said December would be the capitulation month. I said that on January 16th, 2018. And December 2018 was the worst month. Now, I'm telling you this. I'm not sitting here to be gloom and doom. We're going to make money when the market goes down. My job is to make sure that my members are making money when the market goes down. My job is to make sure that it's just as easy for them to make money when the market's going up as it goes down. That they can maneuver Nice and easy, doesn't matter to them. When they wake up in the morning, they don't care if the market's down or the market's up. They're in that position because I guide them. I tell them exactly when to buy, exactly when to sell, exactly when to run like hell. It's, 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 stop thinking of these fundamentals. You don't buy stocks any longer because of fundamentals. What are you, nuts? You'll never retire. Or if you're going to retire, you're going to be in cat food on Wednesday instead of spaghetti day. It's just ridiculous. We're never told the truth. Just like the job numbers. The job numbers they told us in December were 304,000, right? Or 320,000. Well, wait a minute. Then we're told the job numbers in January, 304,000. Something makes sense. Because guess what? 800,000 people were out of work in in, in, uh, in January. So how could those numbers be almost the same? Oh, it wasn't, right? They had to come back, and they had to fix the phony numbers in December. They had to adjust them back down by 90,000 because they lied to us. You don't listen to the jibber-jabbers. Become a member. Listen to me. Listen to me. Try it for a month and help St. Jude. Be right back after this break. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. At St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, we're fighting against childhood cancer every day. At the heart of this battle are our donors. Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay It's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from. All that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you, for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG. Try it for 30 days, thirty nine ninety five. Follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you is start making money. Please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. 
That's 877-600-4264. Phil'sGang.com. What are people saying? Back about 2005, I found myself out of work. One of the things I was doing was KCA was playing Phil's Gang at noon, and he was predicting in 2005 a collapse of the, the housing market. Phil's Gang feller, he was on it and nobody else was predicting what he predicted but he was he was on the money he was talking in 2005 he was talking about how people had the teaser rates with their mortgages and that the whole thing was going to collapse and he knew what time it was you got to respect that at saint jude children's research hospital we're fighting against childhood cancer every day at the heart of this battle are our donors Most of us want to make some type of difference in the lives of others. St. Jude does miraculous work. The fact that no one has to pay, it's a place where everyone is treated as an equal. Everybody is welcome here, and it doesn't matter your religion or what part of the world you're from. All that is taken away. It just gives you some hope. It's just a nice feeling to put your energy into something that really does genuinely make a difference in a child's life. There's just no greater gift. If we have the ability to help, then we have a responsibility to help. Finding cures, saving children. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Find out how you can help at stjude.org. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, And most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call, 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. The ultimate message about the economy is that the consumer is doing well. Savings rates are good. People are seeing an increase in wages. and See, increase in wages, does that get me nuts? They're seeing increase in wages. What are you, nuts? 3%, which is a lie, but let's go along with the lie from the BLS. 3% annually. Healthcare is going up 5, 6, some parts of the country even 10%. That's not counting prescription drugs. That's not counting your your insurance on your house. Just go to a movie, for God's sakes. Consumers are struggling. They're struggling. I mean, look, their job is to make everything sound terrific, to get you to go out and spend, because spending is 70% of our of our growth. That's how we grow. If you don't spend, if you don't spend, our economy doesn't grow. If you don't spend, advertisers cut back. They don't send advertising money. They don't buy as many ads or as much ad time from CNBC or from Fox Business. So they got to get you to spend. They got to tell you what they think you you want to hear. And besides, they think we sit on the biggest 
the longest stupid bench in the world. And then they can take parking space in our head because they're the experts. And when they come on TV in their pompadour hairdos and their cheap suits, they think, oh, they'll believe anything I say. And most people do. It's like a cop, right? A cop could say, stop, and you shouldn't stop. But you will stop. You will stop. Because a cop told you to stop, your brain is set up to stop. And, and if you stop, you could get killed. But if he says stop, you're going to stop. No matter what a cop tells you. Our brain is that way. It's the same thing with these financial shows on TV. Whatever they tell you, you believe automatically. In your head, there's a little switch that says, oh, he's got to be right. He's on TV. He's on TV. He must be smart. Varney must be the smartest guy in the world. All Varney wants you to do is keep buying Microsoft because that's the stock he's in. And the other character, what's his name? He keeps saying he's confused all the time. Charles Payne says, I'm confused. The last time the market was going up, the banks were not following, and I told you that the market was going to collapse. And he kept saying, I don't understand. I don't understand. The banks aren't going up. Of course the banks aren't going up. He says, gee, interest rates went up. He says, the banks should be making more money, so banks should be going up. No. Yes, normally when interest rates go up, banks make more money. But when interest rates go up and people are making the same wages as they made in the 1970s adjusted for inflation, are you kidding? And their health care is eating most of their money up. We've never had so many people working so many jobs. But let's move on. A lot of it's coming down now to finally people are talking about socialism. They're talking about socialism. And I think socialism is something that we have to talk about because it's a terrible, terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. You know, when they talk about billionaires and they don't they, they want to make sure there's no more billionaires, they forget that Bill Gates gives away five billion a year for charity. Buffett gives away almost five billion a year. Zuckerberg, two billion a year. Uh, 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 what? Um, Ellison from Dell, a billion a year. Bezos, that's kind of cheap, two billion from him. Larry Ellison, Oracle, two billion. Let me tell you, these billionaires, there's no country like our country when it comes to charity. These billionaires and millionaires give a tremendous amount of money away to help people. What's, what's going to happen when you take all their money? If you fall for socialism, and, and remember, socialism doesn't work because once you take the money away from the producers, the rainmakers, and there's no more money to take from them, how do you pay all the country's bills? Take a look at Venezuela. Yeah, I mean, is, how's Venezuela working out? A uh, 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 smiley, uh, what's her name, Teeth uh, Cortez. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro's military using trailers to block desperately needed food and supplies from the United States. Many blaming Maduro's government for an economy in shambles. 1.7 million percent inflation, making everything unaffordable. And that's what she wants. That's what she wants. But, but guess what? It's Wall Street's fault. They're opening up the door. It's Wall Street's fault. See, socialism, what people don't understand about socialism... Socialism is a transition. It's a transitional stage between capitalism and communism. That's what it really is. Bernie Sanders is a communist. He's a communist. But they, before, they never wanted to use the word socialism. Now they're proud. It's a badge of honor. I'm a socialist. Soon it's going to be, I'm a communist. And thank God for the president saying, this country will never turn to socialism. Really? You don't think so? Well, keep doing what we're doing. Listen, socialism, it supports a system for those who have the ability to achieve but are lazy. They don't want to work hard. They don't want to take risk. They don't. Or they haven't figured out how to build wealth. They're jealous when they see former Steve Jobs of Apple, Bill Gates of Microsoft, Larry Ellison of Oracle. They're jealous Because they haven't figured out how to make that kind of wealth. So they want socialism. They want an economic system where Apple, Microsoft, Oracle would be confiscated and owned by society. And the value created from those businesses be confiscated. Remember Maxine Waters, what she said? I'm going to confiscate. She says, I'm going to confiscate all those businesses. Remember that? Unbelievable. 
then when they confiscate, they want to redistribute, redistribute to society equally. Everybody's going to get the same. Everyone's going to get the same. Instead of contributing to those who created the wealth, no, 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 you did all the work, you took all the risk, you took all the, you, you borrowed money and you're working 18 hours a day, and you took the risk, you could lose it all. Oh, but you're going to get the same amount of money as the guy who's lazy, sits home all day, uh, drinking beer and watching sports all day long at home. He's going to get as much as Larry Ellison. He's going to get as much as Bill Gates. This is what Crazy Teeth wants. Smiley, whatever her name is, Cortez. See, socialism supports a system for those like Cortez, Miss Toothpaste, who want a complete class of society where she, the government, believes that she knows what's better for me and my family than I do. A 29-year-old punk kid. And she wants to control all means of production and distribution of goods, this 29-year-old kid. And like all socialists, Cortez wants to eliminate competition. Like, you know, they've already started with, there's no more valuable player, most valuable player on any uh, Little League team. Every Little League pay- Every Little League player gets a badge, gets an award. They're all most valuable. That came from her kind of nonsense. They want to eliminate competition among all people and put everyone on the same level. The lazy with the ambitious. The creative with the non-creative. To discourage competition. That's her idea. And to promote what? Economic planning. She is the most dangerous woman this country has ever had. She's insane. But who's opened the door? Who's opened the door to this? The bankers and Wall Street. Because they got greedy. They got greedy. But as I say, she doesn't give any credit to the billionaires who are not greedy. And to the millionaires who are not greedy. You don't have to. And how about the people who make two, three hundred thousand? They give even more. That's why we're getting. That's why St. Jude is one of the is a research hospital, the greatest research hospital in the country. Almost wiping out, wiping out cancers that the kids used to have a survival rate of, of what twenty years ago, two percent. Now it's eighty percent. That comes from success. That comes from capitalism. Oh, no, but she wants to take everybody who's the producer, take their money, and everybody's going to be on the same, everybody's going to get the same pay, the same everything. Well, let me ask you a question. Once you take all the money from the producers and there's no money left, who pays the bills? Who pays the bills? Venezuela tried it. How'd that work out? We'll be right back. Join my gang. Get my picks. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grant at philsgang.com. You know, we raise money every day for St. Jude, and we need your help. And I will reach out to you and help you learn how to invest in stocks. It's a whole new game out there. No more is there investing in stocks based on fundamentals. Those days are gone, totally gone. So look, join my gang, philsgang.com. I'll help you, and then you help St. Jude learn how to use a chart. Sign up today. Simply go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. 877-600-4264. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy at philsgang.com. I want to extend my personal invitation to all my listeners to join me in Orlando, Florida, February 7th through the 10th at the Money Show Free Investment Conference in Orlando, Florida, being held at Omni Resort Champions Gate. That's Thursday, February 7th through Sunday the 10th. On Saturday at 2 p.m., I'm inviting you to attend my workshop. Don't miss it. To register, go to philsgang.com. philsgang.com. We'll see you on the charts in Orlando. 
When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG, and you'll be in position, and you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. St. Jude exceeds any expectation or any dream I could have ever had about a hospital. I was told we wouldn't get a bill. I, I didn't quite process that. How is this possible? It's possible through all the wonderful people who donate. I don't know if they are aware of what they do, but they're saving children's lives every day. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Finding cures. Saving children. Learn more at stjude.org. Philsgang.com has taught thousands of people from all walks of life how to invest and make profits in the stock market. Philsgang.com can help you generate extra income, maximize your retirement financial savings, and teach you how to avoid costly investing mistakes. With the Phil's Gang membership, you get all the comprehensive stock research and data, analysis tools, Phil's recommendations, and the professional customer support you need to make smarter, more profitable investing decisions. Don't wait. Call today, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, 877-600-4264, or go to philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com, 877-600-4264. Did you know Phil Grandy hosts a daily live stock market investing webinar class? Never miss a beat with the market and your investments. Learn, invest, and profit with philsgang.com. Call 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-GANG. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call at 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. You know, I said yesterday, what has caused this inequality is Congress. Because the very, very wealthy caught on early that they can buy Congress they can get them reelected. And when they get them reelected, these lawmakers like Pelosi and the rest of them, they own them. And they will change the laws for their industry so they can get much richer. And when they even get more rich, they already are, they keep even giving more money back to the same politicians. You can't get them out of office. You ever wonder how these same dopes stay in office? I mean, when you listen to, to Maxine Waters talk, I mean, she hasn't got an ounce, not an ounce of intelligence. You could take her brain and put it in a thimble, a sewing machine thimble. You could. Wow. How does she keep getting in, you ask? Because they get so much money. She's on the banking committee now, and she's been on the banking committee for a long time. And she gets so much money. So they're bribes. They call them donations. That you can, nobody can beat her. Nobody's going to go up against her. Nobody's going to ever go up against Pelosi. Nobody's ever going to go up against Schumer. That's why they're in office so long. If you put the, you, we don't have to go to socialism like I said yesterday. We just have to do term limits. That's it. But now Bernie Sanders, the true communist. He wants to force employee ownership. Pocahontas. I 
I am also sorry for not being more mindful of this uh, decades ago. So, Senator, why did you list yourself as an American Indian on this Texas bar application? So, this was about... Uh, I can't can't even listen to it. I can't even listen to it. What a phony she is. So, Pocahontas now, along with Sanders and Toothpaste Cortez, have united where they are introducing legislation... To make corporations more democratic. More democratic, they say. And they're going to give workers a greater say. Where they're going to require that you've got to give up 40% of your board to the workers. To the workers. This is unbelievable. And they're going to establish a wage board. This is their idea. Then they want the workers who sit on the board directors to, to establish a wage board and give workers more say over how their retirement savings should be invested. You know, I'm not arguing with any of that. But that's not what we need. You want to screw things up and be like Venezuela? Just do that. We just need term limits. Okay, so the stock market today is down 300 points. Where you're going to make money in the market, that's why I want you to join me, join my gang, Phil's gang, and we've been doing terrific And again, remember, it doesn't matter if the market's going down or the market's going up. For us, for my members, it's just as easy. It doesn't matter. We could care less. We're not going to listen to any of this foolish fundamentals either that you hear every day from these financial shows. All we're going to do is tell you when to buy, when to sell based on money flow. Money flow is that simple. It's always about money flow. And right now, the market cannot hold these banks. So get ready for another correction. They're going to be forced to drop interest rates again to try to push the market up. You're go- we're going to see QE again, maybe a month, maybe two, maybe three, but it's going to happen. But in the meantime, be a member so you don't care if the market goes up or down. I don't care if the market's down 300 points today. We'll make money. And we'll make money if it's up 400 points. It doesn't matter. But it does matter to you if you're in a 401k. It does matter to you if you're, if, if, if you're depending on a planner, if you're depending on a, a stockbroker. It matters to you because they never, never take you out of a bad position and replace you in a good position. They never do that. They never take you out of a position and get you to short the market, to mitigate your losses by shorting. Oh, shorting's a bad thing, they tell you. Oh, shorting, it's a bad thing for them. It's a bad thing for their wallet. Bad thing for their wallet because they only want you to buy. Always buy stocks. Always buy. Sell short. Oh, sell a stock. Oh, boy, no, don't do that. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So there's a great opportunity right now. I, matter of fact, last week we just started to uh, work with uh, oil stocks. Oil stocks have been beaten to death. Oil service stocks have been beaten to death. And so too has um, uh, uh, refiners. So there's some great opportunities in those. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. And you know, it's like a restaurant. You ever notice when you go to a restaurant and nobody's there, a new restaurant they open up, boy, do they take care of you, right? They, they boy, Big portions, service like that, come to your table, give you a drink like that. Then after they've been in business a while, you gotta, you, you got to beg for a drink, beg for a cocktail. You gotta, and you give somebody a credit card. You ever notice when you give somebody in a restaurant a credit card today, they're gone. I mean, they are like gone. They're like socks. They're gone. Where did my socks go? Where did my waiter go? Where the hell did he go? I want to get out of here. I mean, it's like they take your card. To, oh, we got them. Yeah, that meal's behind us. Yeah, we got their 80 bucks, 100 bucks. They can sit and wait till we get the new people. The new person, they sit by there. Hey, honey, what you want? You want a drink? That's an amazing. So, but boy, when they're new, when nobody knew they were there, they did great. It was terrific. It was the same thing with stocks. When stocks are beaten down, nobody knows they're there. That's when you want to go to these stocks. When nobody knows about them. So right now, oil stocks, retail stocks have been beaten to death. Those are going to be some tremendous opportunities. Gold is also going to be a great opportunity because the dollar is going to get crushed. This dollar is going to get crushed. Why? Because we have too much debt. Way too much debt. And when that dollar gets crushed, 
because the economy really stinks. It is not a good. Yes, it's a good economy for the few. But it should be a good economy for everybody. But it's not. I mean, I don't want to sit here and be doom and gloom, but I'm telling you the truth, it's not. I've had more people say to me, all I hear from CNBC and Fox and the, rest, the economy's fantastic. Look at this. And every day when the market was going up, every day, new highs, new highs, new highs, people would say, I don't feel it. I'm still working two jobs. At the end of the month, i got to use my credit card because I don't have enough money in my checking account. After I paid my bills, I thank God for my credit cards. This is what they would tell me. But boy, when you hear them, Every day on TV, everything is wonderful. Isn't it interesting? When the market crashed, like that 20% crash we just had, not one of them predicted it. Not one of them predicted it. But boy, after it crashes, news break, news break. We're bringing on an expert. So they bring this guy on, they call an expert to tell you why it went down. But he wasn't expert enough to tell you when it was going to go down. Breaking news, breaking news. Breaking news. Do you ever notice that now on TV? It's always breaking. Every TV station you go, everything's breaking. Breaking news everywhere. It's, 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 anyways, I don't want to get into that. The interesting thing about the market, it's not hard. They made it very hard. They use fancy words, quantitative easing. What's quantitative easing? All that means is they print money, the government, and they're going to buy treasuries. Because like in 2008, when the yield was at 3.7%, that means the government had to pay 3.7% on the money it owed, which was around, it was around, um, around what was it then? 15, I think it was $15 trillion, or like today, $21 trillion. And so what they do is they, they print the money and they buy the treasuries. The more treasuries they buy, it went from 3.7%. In 2008, by 2010, it was down to 1.8. So that means the government could afford to pay the interest on the debt. And when they couldn't afford to pay the interest on the debt, they used all their budget. There was, there was no money left for R&D or anything else. Look, I don't have all the answers. I really don't. But my members will tell you, we do pretty good. And we've been here for 20 years doing this. And what we're looking for is to help St. Jude. We've been doing it for 20 years. I'm reaching out right now to help you join my gangs, thirty nine ninety five a month. I'll help you. You turn around, help St. Jude. And you'll always be on the right side of the market. You never have to worry again. Never. I will see you on the charts. To Phil's Gang with your host, Phil Grandy, on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Off the Wall Street Radio Network. Remember to visit Phil's website at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or call the office, 877 600 4264. That's 877 600 4264. It's up to me!